Today is January 18th, and that means the Cyber Showdown event is officially live in Halo Infinite. Alongside this, the new store update is officially launched, which gives us some really cool new discounted bundles. And going forward, this should mean that the shop is a lot better and the prices are much more fair. We've also got some really cool items in today's shop, so as usual, I'll be taking a look at the new bundles and determining whether or not they're worth your money. So how's it going, Magpies? I'm Magpileon, and let's jump straight in. Now, before we dive into all the new bundles, I would like to just quickly bring up a few things. First of all, the daily bundle that's on today, the Keep It Clean bundle, is one we've seen before, uh, and its price is exactly the same. Now, 343 have confirmed that changes to daily bundles will be coming later on down the line. Alongside this, something that was really disappointing is there's no individual items on the shop, like they said they would be. These are coming later on also. However, overall, the store updates are definitely big improvements. I will be getting into the items in a sec, I just quickly wanted to address that, that although big improvements have been made, there's still a little bit left to go. I'm happy with the improvements they've taken, like the, the stuff they've done to improve the shop, but there's still more that I'd like to see in the future. But anyway, let's talk about today's bundles. We will start with the Keep It Clean bundle. I've covered this bundle before in a couple of shop videos, and honestly, I'm not really a fan. This bundle costs 500 credits and gives you the Pistol Plasma AI and the Superintendent nameplate and emblems for your vehicles, weapon, and armor. The emblem itself's fine, but the AI colour is what's really disappointing here. It's basically just the default AI green, but with a saturation slightly turned up. It's the third green colour we've got for the AI, or I guess fourth, because the Mr. Chief one also exists now. And honestly, the one you get in the Battle Pass is much better. Even though 500 credits isn't really that expensive, when you look at other 500 credit bundles, this one just, quite frankly, isn't worth it. Honestly, I think maybe 300 credits would be a fair price for this bundle, but 500 feels like too much. You're literally getting an AI colour, which is the saturation slightly turned up and doesn't look anything like its picture uh, so it feels like a bit of a catfish and you get the superintendent nameplate which although fine feels like something that should have been included in the battle pass anyway next up we've got the zodiac river bundle this also costs 500 credits and this is a pretty cool bundle you get the zodiac river vehicle coatings you get this for the warthog the razorback and the rocket hog it sort of makes them look like like a beach ball i they really stand out and i think these are some of the best vehicle coatings we've seen in the game like i said they, they really stand out the, the mix of all the different colours, they're just really nice coatings. They're very summery and I like that. You also get the performance wheels for the Warthog. These again look pretty cool and definitely make your Warthog stand out a little bit more. I don't think this is as good as the Citrus Ink Pack, which is very similar in the sense that you get some vehicle coatings and a Warthog model. However, whereas in that bundle you've got six items as you've got the coating for the Mongoose and the Gungoose, this one you don't get it for those. So I think although it's great, it's not quite the best. I'd say for me personally, the Citrus Ink bundle still outweighs it just a little. I prefer the Citrus Ink coatings, but I definitely think these ones stand out a bit more overall. But 500 credits, honestly, you can't go wrong here. And I could understand why someone would want to buy this bundle. It's quite cheap and gives you some of the best vehicle coatings in the game. Next up, we've got the Neon Beat bundle. In this, you get the Neon Beat e Epic Mythic Effect set. And these are really cool, very Tron-like, very uh, retro-looking. I, I like how this looks, it makes your Spartan look pretty damn cool running around the battlefield. You also get the Juice Legendary Visor, which I think we've seen before in one of like the promotional images when they were showing the different customization off. And it's a really cool visor, this sort of pink and purple one. Again, looking very neon, looking very retro. It looks like something from Tron. And then you also get the Synthwave, Synthwave Sasquatch Epic Nameplate and Emblems. And this is definitely one of the better emblems in the game. This is one that, I honestly, if I brought this bundle, I'd probably use. The bundle costs a thousand credits, and for that price, I'd honestly say it's worth it. If you look at the, I think it was called the Cherry Blossom set, the one that was on during the Samurai event, which just gave you the little pet effect that goes around your spartan which costs double the price of this and only contain an emblem and that effect set when you consider this contains a really nice visor and a much better emblem for half the price i'd say this is a really good bundle and it's honestly again worth the credits so so far before we talk about the main bundle I think it's safe to say that the shop this week is probably the best we've seen it in a good while, if not ever. But one thing of note is there's no legendary bundle on the shop today. Normally the legendary ones are the ones that cost 2,000 credits, but instead we've got three epic ones. One of which costs 500 credits, one costs 1,000, and the Neon Superfly bundle, which we will cover in a minute, which costs 1,200. Now this is interesting because in terms of the prices, all the prices are drastically different, and it seems like beforehand the bundles were priced based on rarity, or at least sort of like that with all legendary bundles of course costing a thousand and then you had some epic ones which cost 1500 and some that cost a thousand whereas all three of the weekly bundles are all epic bundles 
So it makes me curious to see how much a 2000 bundle is going to be reduced by and how much these bundles would have been before the update. Maybe the Neon Beat one would have been 1500 or maybe it was planned to be 1000 the whole time. Maybe Zodiac River was planned to be 700 credits and maybe Neon Superfly was more than likely going to be 1500. Until we see a legendary bundle on the shop it's hard to determine how much the actual price changes or until we get some official uh, input from 343. It's somewhat worrying because if the legendary bundles only get reduced by like 200 credits that'll definitely be really disappointed. But anyway, let's finally talk about the big bundle this week, the Neon Superfly bundle. This bundle is phenomenal and gives you some of the coolest items in the game. You get the Neon on a armor coating for the Samurai armor core. This looks great, the mixture of the black, magenta and cyan colors with the sort of carbon material. You also get the Neon Superfly coating for the Mark 7 core, which obviously again has the same colors and the same carbon material on the armor. It looks great. There's also the Will-O-Wisp visor, which is this bright cyan visor, like almost glowing, and it looks great. There's also the Neon Superfly weapon and vehicle coatings. You get these for the Assault Rifle and the Battle Rifle. I think it looks better on the Assault Rifle than just the Battle Rifle, but both of these really stand out. The, p the pink magenta stripe on the Assault Rifle with the little cyan details just looks amazing. And the Wasp coating, you get it for the Wasp, the Warthog, the Razorback and the Rocket Hog, but the Wasp coating is by far the best one here. It gives it a very stealthy look and I think that's great. Yeah, the Wasp definitely has this stealthy Spec Ops look uh, with the little colourful details that really stand out because of the like sort of almost all black material. Honestly, these vehicle coatings might be my favourite in the game. And then the final item is the Combat Reload Stance. This isn't anything too special, it's definitely a nice enough stance uh, and a nice little bonus that's part of the bundle, but obviously the main appeal here is definitely the coatings, which again are some of the best, if not the best, in the game. I brought this bundle pretty much straight away. For 1,200 credits, honestly, it's really not that bad. All the items here are pretty solid. Like, there isn't one bad item in this entire bundle. There's not, like, like where most of the big bundles will have, like, an emblem or something like that that I don't really care about. Everything here is worth it, and everything here is great but yeah that sums up everything i've got to say about the shop today like i said there's still some things i'm a little disappointed about like no changes to the daily bundles yet no individual items yet but they said they plan on changing the store up every week to see what fans prefer so we've still got a lot to look forward to in terms of the shop and the improvements aren't done yet as much as i would have liked to have seen you know multiple daily bundles and whatnot today uh, as long as i know that's something that is coming then that's fine enough by me but anyway, folks, that's everything I've got to say today. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. We're aiming for a thousand subs by the end of the year, and we're approaching that goal quite quickly. The support on the channel at the minute has been amazing. I can't thank you all enough. But yeah, that's all from me, and I'll catch you in the next one.